Part three, rotate to break 80, is sequencing. It's time to have some fun. Kinematic sequence just means how you move during the swing and how you use the body as a system is the driving force behind everything that you do. And if you get it correct, you're gonna find that power is effortless and your ball striking is super consistent. So what is your sequence? It's the process of using the body together so everything's connected. On the way back, we load the lower body first, we rotate the hips, then the torso, shoulders, arms, club is last, and on the way down, we do the opposite. We push out of the ground so the lower body lead, the hips turn to the target, the core opens up, and then it is upper body, hands, club head last. If you're doing this wrong, what you need to look out for is the upper body or the club outracing your lower body. That is where so many golfers go wrong. They pick the club up on the way back so you don't get that depth we've talked about in weeks one and two. And also, then the club outraces the body, which means the body isn't working as a system. We're not getting the power from the legs, the core, or even the arms because we're just throwing the club down. So if you want to improve this area of your game and get your body in the best position, but two movements right here that you can do either with a band or a med ball. With the band, you're gonna fix it just about rib height and you're gonna take hold with your trail hand. Remember to work both sides. From here, take a little tension, feet together. You are then gonna step out into your golf posture for roughly your normal golf stance. You are then going to fire into the ground with your lower body. You're gonna rotate the hip, rotate the torso, and then punch with everything that you've got, stretching the band, increasing that tension, and building massive speed. Sequence back, keep your balance so the feet come back together, step out again, and let it rip. We're having some fun today, so when you execute these movements, do it with intent and move quick. Second movement is a step to rotational slam. The band has a press element, the ball, here we're gonna slam and rotate. Pretty much the same kind of deal, but a different load and a different intensity. Here we're gonna start with our feet together. We're then gonna step back into our golf posture. So we get that push off the ground. We've got all that speed potential. We then rotate to the target. Again, lower body, hips, torso, and then release to the wall. Okay, you'll know you're doing this well if the ball comes straight back to your hands because then you've rotated, you've got level to the target and you can create a good release point. If not, you're gonna find that the ball's bouncing all over the place and you're not turning your body enough. Make sure you work both sides, make sure you're really specific and move fast and execute these movements with all that you have. What you are looking to do is rotate inside your base of support, Part one, create extension going back. Part two, and then your sequence, we use the ground to create a one piece takeaway. We turn around the spine, we get to the top of the swing fully loaded, and that downswing sequence is so, so important. All right, we load into the ground, then the legs turn to the target, hips next, then the torso, then the arms, and then the club head comes in last. You can get that dialed in. Golf is gonna feel a whole lot easier. You're gonna hit it further, and you're gonna shoot some scores and break 80. Sequencing is all about helping you deliver a powerful, effortless swing with awesome consistency at the ball. Okay, so the step to swing drill in two variations is one of the most fun and one of the most impactful you can do. All right, and as long as you're in the right area, practice range, wherever you're at, you can do this with any club. Okay, tee up a driver and just let it go. Think about your sequencing of motion. Okay, you can do two variations. Okay, either way, Take your conventional setup. I've got a seven iron here, so it's getting a normal position. Okay, from here, variation number one, bring your trail foot in line with the ball before then stepping back during the swing, loading, and then hit. Okay, through that sequence, we get the engagement of pressing back into that trail foot going back, and then we get the push of the sequencing going through. Okay, so one more time, normal position, Trail foot in line with the ball, and then as you swing, you're gonna enhance that loading pattern going back. <laughs> Variation number two is gonna be the step to the target. Okay, this one is gonna help you with that pressure into the lead foot. Once we've loaded, we hit part one, which is that rotation. We hit part two, which is extension. And then from the top, we can then sequence down. Okay, legs first, hips, torso, arms, hands, club, okay, and that's what this one's gonna get done. Similar setup, we get into our normal position, and then you're gonna bring that lead foot back, in line with the ball, 
you're going to take your backswing and as you get into that transition, you're going to let the hands drop, you're going to get a nice natural movement and as you do so, step back and then just let it rip guys, alright? So again, the position of stepping down enhances how much our body is travelling into that lead foot. We push, we rotate, we clear and from that point on, the sequence just delivers the club head and you are going to rip it pretty much every single time. So really be aggressive with this drill and hit it like you need it. This was the three part series to help you rotate better and break eight. Part one, we fixed your sway, we got you rotating better. Part two, we looked at spine angle, extension, flexion, and how to stay in good positions throughout the swing. Here, we just dialed up your sequencing so you can use the whole body as a system for consistency and effortless power. Check back through, then let us know what other series you want to see because more are on the way. Hit like, subscribe if you have not already. Check us out on all socials. Get the Golf One app if you really want to level up. And most importantly, go to work so you can improve your game. Golf strong.